So here we have the uh, Gongju 8018 LCD portable temperature controlled hot air gun. It's a really neat unit from Banggood. It comes supplied with four nozzles ranging from a, a fine through medium and then to the to the largest that I've got on there at the moment. The smaller ones, the finer one, is uh, very useful for this type of work on uh, surface mount components or, or BGAs. And this guy, uh, very handy for repairing the screens on, on phones and getting uh, screens off of tablets and such like. In fact, you'll see that in one of my other one of my other videos. I'll put a link into. So it's easy to control. Uh, I have two controls: one for the heater and one for the air. Now I do have uh, another hot air reflow station, and in comparison to this, it's um, very bulky and uh, heavy and, and and noisy. Uh, give you a, a view of that as well. So here by comparison is my uh, older hot air reflow station and as you can no doubt hear it is quite noisy and obviously not as convenient to, to carry around, not exactly uh, portable and not as neat on the, on the worktop. So let's uh, have a play. I found that the settings are are uh, quite uh, quite difficult to to work out. Uh, it's best to control the air first, get the airflow uh, as as you want it, and then adjust the the heater accordingly. And we'll see the the temperature readout on the display here and compare it with our infrared thermometer as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to adjust the air now. You can see there's no heat on, so it's not, not dangerous at this point. So just increasing the air flow. This is about where I'm going to want it. I have actually put a marking on there as for these settings, as I use them quite a lot for, uh, for removing screens and such like. So having got to that point where we've got the air, let's increase now the, the heater setting until we can see the light indicating that the heater is on. So now we're going to leave that and wait for it to, to stabilize. So the trick here is to find the, the sort of sweet spot. Um, although the, the readout here says around 200, uh, on the actual screen it's nearer the, the 80 degrees that, uh, that I need. and. Uh, the reason for that is, I guess, that the temperature sensor is is actually in inside, um, and obviously it's hotter there with the amount of the airflow that's going going over it. So this is this is fine now for 80 degrees for getting the getting the glue on the screen removed. Um, we just have to watch that that the, the the temperature that's indicated in this particular case is going to be higher. I think you'll find it more accurate with this uh, readout on the on the smaller nozzle. So when we finished our work, um, it's important to first of all reduce the heat down to its minimum, so the heater is off, and then increase the airflow and give the device uh, a chance to to cool off before you uh, unplug it. If you had just unplugged it with it um, hot, uh, it will decrease the life of the of the heating element. So we'll just let that reduce down to close to room temperature, and then we can switch it off. So all in all, a very handy, useful tool uh, for heat shrink, removing screens, uh, surface mount work. Uh, very, very uh, useful indeed. So I hope that's been useful overview for you and please like subscribe and share